Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Uh, well, my ex returned for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 2021. So these are the Aries people that are currently entertaining the idea of reconciling with an ex or your ex wanting, wanting to reconcile with you. Or both of you uh, are entertaining the idea of reconciling with each other. So we are going to take a look at your current mutual energies between the both of you. And then uh, we will see what happened to you guys in the recent past to cause a split. And then uh, we'll close out the read to see if there's, a recon if there's going to be reconciliation for the both of you guys. Um, if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on content that is being uploaded onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like you know someone out there that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Aries, let's get started. Um, what are the current mutual energies between Aries and their ex right now? What are their current mutual energies between Aries and their ex, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for August 2021 for Aries here. We have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Sun card, Leo Energy. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. So Aries, you could be dealing with a Leo here. Or you might have Leo in your chart. Both of you have Leo in your charts. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Take it as it resonates. Also, the roles could be flipped or reversed. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. So I'm feeling like there's this energy of you both. Both of you are thinking about reaching out to each other. And both of you are thinking about reconciliation. Now, just apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe you're the only one who wants that or your person. So yeah, just apply to your own unique situation. But I feel like there is this energy of still having a lot of passion towards each other here, uh, missing each other. Uh, but there is this energy of holding back because there is this energy of feeling insecure whether, you know, uh, someone's going to answer or not. We have the Three of Swords on the top of the deck here. So there is definitely heartbreak here between you two. There could have been a third party situation that someone was hiding. Uh, we have the Hermit, Three of Swords. Yeah, someone's, I mean, someone here could have been selfish. You might have, this could be a Twin Flame connection. Doesn't have to be, but it's just the energy that is showing up here. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is this, why is this Eight of Wands here? Why is this Eight of Wands here? There is definitely, there's definitely going to be communication between you two or you guys are wanting to communicate. Uh, some of you guys might be at a distance from each other too. So that might apply to some of you guys. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Eight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So we have someone here that wants to come forward. Or both of these want to come forward towards each other. Like I said, just apply this to your own unique situation. This is a general reading. Why is this Eight of Swords here? All right, we have a Nine of Pentacles. So we have, I mean, we have someone here, or both of yous. Um, just, you guys just can't stop thinking about each other. 
I mean, look at that. We have the Eight of Wands here showing up again. So um, there is this energy of wanting to communicate. So expect un expect the unexpected. You might be you might not be expecting this, but there is going to be some sort of communication here between you two. Why is this Eight of No? Why is the Sun here? The Sun and the Nine of Wands. I mean, there is this energy of tired of feeling, tired of not uh, of not being happy here, without each other. Why is the strength card here? The strength card and the Ace of Swords. I mean, there is this energy of also really wanting to clear the air. Uh, not quite sure how long you guys have been apart, but the through this time while you guys were apart, I feel like both of you are going through some sort of awakening, a realization, uh, you know, and I, I feel like you guys want to share that with each other. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Why is this Judgment card here? And the Empress. So we have someone here that wants to reconcile with their Empress. Look at that. We have the lovers on the bottom of the deck here. Gemini energy. So this is a very, very, very strong soul tie, a bond here. The thing is, I feel like in the past, there is lies and deception in this connection. The thing is, I feel like one person is not going to trust this coming back together. Or if it's going to come back together, someone here is not going to trust someone. I feel like it's this Empress here. So we have a Knight of Cups, which is a younger energy, and uh, someone that here is uh, that's more mature, which is this Empress here, or, or this Nine of Pentacles, this pre-Empress energy. So we have someone here that's thinking about someone a lot, which is this Knight of Cups. But like I said, this is a general reading. I did ask about the mutual energies, so bo perhaps both these are feeling this way towards each other. Like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. This is just a general reading. Um, what happened between uh, Aries and their ex uh, recently or in the past for them to separate? What caused the separation between Aries and their ex? What caused the separation between Aries and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. here. Grab five more cards for you guys. Six of Pentacles. All right, we have the Hierophant here again, Taurus Energy. We have the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. You're definitely dealing with someone here, perhaps that's younger. Uh, feel free to place yourself where you see fit too. Either you're this Empress or this younger energy, this younger water energy here. The Five of Pentacles showing up again. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So there was definitely betrayal here. I feel like someone here left someone, perhaps to be with someone else. Like I said, there was a third party situation here, perhaps, and someone hid it. It seems like someone here was giving a lot of love to someone, but Someone here is coming up as a page. A page really does not really have a lot to give. Uh, a page could promise something and, and, and they don't back it up with their actions. I mean, we have a King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. So uh, Taurus Libra, Taurus Libra. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. So this person could have left you to be with someone else in a different relationship. Perhaps this relationship didn't work out and now this person's coming back. 
I mean, this person can't stop thinking about you here. Uh, this person wants forgiveness. This person wants to apologize. And look at that. We have the Eight of Swords here. So we have someone here that can't stop thinking about you, uh, Aries. And I feel like it's this younger water energy here. It seems as though this person left you out in the cold and this person betrayed you. This person left you for a third party. Why is this Ace of Cups here? So we have a King of Pentacles, which I feel like it's this Knight and this Page here. And then we have the Empress. Uh, why is this Ace of Cups here? It seems like someone here gave a lot of love towards someone, and someone was not giving it back. Someone could have promised commitment here towards someone, and someone here just, on a dime, sort of changed their mind. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups here. You see, I feel like this person might have been perhaps in love with two people. This person had to make a decision here. But I'm seeing a strong soul tie between you two though. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles could have been breadcrumbing you. Like I said, this person was like, yes, I want commitment here with you, but then then they just was out the door and and they jumped into another relationship with someone else. Why is this Hierophant here? Hierophant and the Four of Wands. You see, you guys have a strong soul tie. So this person pair, uh, promised commitment, marriage here, uh, but it just seems like they, they, they didn't deliver. Why is this Page of Cups here? Page of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I don't know. This person might be very lazy. It seems like they didn't want to put in the effort. Maybe they got bored and was like, oh, let me just go somewhere else. Uh, why is this Five of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So this person left you for other options. I mean, this person could have already been seeing other people while they were dating you. Or, were, or, were, or yeah. Uh, why is this Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords and the Devil here. We have the moon, Aries energy, Aries energy. <laughs> Maybe you're dealing with another Aries, but uh, mm -hmm. Cancer, Pisces energy. It seems like you could have been dealing with a toxic narcissistic individual, uh, but it seems like the, this devil sort of stabbed you in the back. And I feel like there's this energy, maybe you're not going to let that happen again, Aries. Even though you probably do care about this person to a degree, um, I feel like it's just not, not going to happen again. Will there be reconciliation between Aries and their ex for August 2021? Reconciliation between Aries and their ex for August 2021. Sun, rising, and Venus signs. chariot on the bottom of the deck so cancer energy there's a lot of water energy here so you, you could be dealing with someone that has water in their chart or you might have that in your chart all right we have the ten of cups all right we have the seven of wands let's see we have the page of cups showing up again we have the seven of pentacles we have the lovers, Gemini energy, that's showing up again. We have the lovers again here. Yeah, that was on the bottom of this deck here, the Nine of Swords. Okay. So, you know, this person is going to come back with an apology. This person's going to be like, hey, Aries, I made a mistake here. I'm sorry, but I feel like you're not going to trust this. I feel like you have fears of this person stabbing you in the back again. I feel like this person's going to offer you some sort of commitment, but you're going to push it away. Um, I think you're done with this person. 
And yeah, if anything, if you do in fact meet up with this person for some sort of conversation or, you know, talk to them on a phone or text, yeah, I feel like you're gonna get in your car and drive away. Or if you live in New York, you know, in a big city with a big subway system, you're just gonna hop on a train and get away. Uh, why is this 10 of cups here? Sorry about the sound. If you hear music coming from the outside. I do live in New York City. I have no control over the sound. So if you're hearing that, it's coming from the outside. Why is this 10 of cups here? All right, 10 of cups. Why is the 10 of cups here? 10 of cups and the king of wands. So Aries, there you are. Like I said, you could be dealing with another Aries. I mean, this king could have, you know, earth, fire in their chart, water. Um, feel free to place yourself where you see fit. Like I said, either you're this king or this empress here. Okay. Why is seven of wands here? Seven of wands and the five of cups. You see, I feel like this person is going to come in and tell you, you know, you know, I want commitment here with you. Let's work towards marriage. I made a mistake, but I feel like you're just not going to allow yourself to be disappointed again. Uh, why is this page of cups here? All right. Look at that. We have the hierophant. This person's promising marriage. This person is promising uh, co uh, commitment. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to apologize for uh, keeping you as an option. Keeping you as an option, but I feel like you don't believe this person. Why is this Lovers here? Lovers in the Three of Pentacles. You see, I feel like this person wants to work together as a cohesive team to bring this back together, but I feel like you don't believe that because I feel like this person is going to keep you as an option. This person is going to uh, put you in a third party situation again. This this devil energy is going to stab you in the back again. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Nine of Swords and the Page of Swords. You're not believing a word this person says. Look at that. We have the devil card again. You're definitely not letting this person stab you in the back again. You have awoken to this person's behavior and you're not going to put up with it. And like I said, I feel like if you do talk to this person on the phone or text, it's going to be short. If you do meet up with this person, you're not going to entertain it. You're going to get in your car and drive away. So Aries, this other person wants it but you're very aware of what's going on. And I feel like you just don't want to put yourself through that pain again. So if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, like this, share this. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.